Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to change out that one touch cleaning system kit in your Weber. Okay, you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how we do it. Check it out. So let's take a look at this uh, grill. I've been using this grill for a little while now and I've had it for about three years and I've cleaned it maybe twice. I clean the grill grate just about every time when I'm gonna do some cooking, but uh, a maintenance on it, just, just never done it. And you know, these things after a little while, they will take uh, a beating. So let's take a look and see what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, wee. Yeah, this uh, grill grate has seen better days, that's for sure. So um, I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna set it over here cause I'm gonna clean this as well. But what I wanna show you guys is take uh, this slow and sear basket out, take the bottom grill grate or, or charcoal grate out as well. This is about normal. You can see that it's uh, with the heat there, it's kind of warped a little bit you know it does take you know they, it does get pretty hot right there and it'll take a it'll take a beating so let's take that out too and this is the part that i wanted to show you guys uh, it's the system that does the the one cleaning thing it's seen better days and it's no longer uh you know a good seal so I don't know what happens if, if the heat just warps it, but it's time to replace it. But before I do that, I'm gonna give this grill um, pit, the pit of the grill, uh, a good cleaning and see if we can restore it uh, as much as we can. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is take that charcoal basket or the ash pan out from the bottom I got the ash pan out and I dumped it. You know, I usually like to keep a, uh, an, um, an aluminum recycling bin. And once that gets filled up, I, I toss it all away in a trash bag, trash bag. It keeps it nice and clean and simple and safe because once you put the lid on it, any charcoal that goes in there is just gonna extinguish because it just don't, doesn't have any oxygen. But I'm gonna be using some of the Simple Green barbecue uh, heavy duty grill cleaner and uh, I've used this before in the past to clean some of my other smokers that I have and it does a pretty good job uh, it's been a while since I've used something like this but we're gonna just spray it all down in here and let this foam go to work inside this pit so I'll get this thing all sprayed down and we're gonna let it soak in we're gonna let it soak and let it work some so i went ahead and left the grill grate back i put it back in sprayed it down with some foam and it's been a few minutes probably about five ten minutes and i'm also going to be using sos pads i grew up with sos pads these things are just you know fantastic when it comes to you know to cleaning so we'll see how they do I haven't used these in in forever but seems to be doing a pretty good job on you know on this grill grate hard to believe that this well not hard to believe but these things get dirty get nasty and uh they gotta be taken care of you can get a lot you can just you probably get a lifetime of use out of these weber uh grills you know if you just take care of them you know just give them good maintenance and uh and they'll last you a long, long time like i said i've had this one already for three years and you know, I don't see it going anywhere. You know, you just gotta take care of them a little bit, give them a little tender love and care. So this is the part you wanna be careful with and not get your cameras wet. So, we get all this as much as we can off of it. And don't think you're gonna get it back to a perfect pristine condition. You're gonna get the majority of it off. Yeah, if you want it to look brand new, then I guess you can buy you a brand new one, but it's about what you want right here. Get the majority of it off and let the fire take care of the rest. There we go. 
I think our grill grate should be good enough right there. I may need to scrub it down a little bit over here, right here. This side seems to be the worst side. It must be the this side of the grill grate must be the side that gets the most heat. There's a little bit more built up on, on, on this side. So I'm gonna scrub it down a little bit more and call it good and then start working on the inside of it. Well, that's, that's not too bad. That looks pretty good. You know, you try to get as much of it off as, as possible. And I really doubt that for the effort that you're gonna put to try to get it restored to, uh, you know, back to brand new, you're probably just better off buying you a brand new one. But, you know, this is still, you know, got plenty of years of use into it. It is pitted a little bit. You know, there's not much you can do about that except try to keep it clean and maintain uh, as much as possible. But, you know, just look at that. That's a that's a world of difference compared to what, what it was before. So I still got to do the inside of the pit and uh, got the other part of the, the grill grate cleaned up. And I may spray this down just a little bit more and let it soak in there some more but it uh, quite a bit of it got got off so we're almost there guys and we're going to get this thing cleaned up and we're going to change that part out in the bottom and we'll be ready to go so here we go we're going to be using the same sos pads these things work really good and that uh, simple green degreaser you know took the most took most of this stuff off of it so you know, it's working out pretty good. I'm gonna get this cleaned up really good as much as possible. Give it a good rinsing. Uh, I have bought some other tools just in case the stuff was, you know, the crud was uh, caked too much. But that simple grain seemed to have done the job. We're just gonna scrub it right here and see how it comes out. Trash guys here. All right, well, let's see what it comes out like. Man, I said that looks pretty good. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, you guys see a little better. Man. That simple green with them SOS pads. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, just a little bit down here in the bottom, a couple spots I missed. But man, that thing looks good. And here's here's what I'm talking about. This uh, one step cleaning kit, whatever you want to call it. You see how it's pushed up on it right here? Well, that's no good. You won't get you won't get it to close, and you won't be able to control your air temps. So. We're gonna change this part out. And now that we got it nice and clean, uh, I think the next step is I'm gonna take these screws out here on the side and try to flip it over because uh, there's there's no hardware that holds it together. Uh, the same one-step cleaning kit for it, it's what holds it together. So let's see if we can get it flipped. Here we go. It's just got four screws you know, that are on each end of the, of the pit. You know, these screws right here, you know, it's just four of them. You take them out of, on the end and uh, and it'll come right out. So we'll get this bad boy flipped. There we go. So it's got like a little hinge on the inside of, a, of this uh, one-step cleaning kit. And I think all you really need to do it's just, uh, give it a good a little twist right here. There it is. And uh, once it twists out like that, then it'll probably fall out because there's nothing on the bottom. And there's that little, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna try to zoom in some, but right there, you see that little, I don't know what you call it, a little keyway or something. 
that's what locks it in on the bottom. You got to kind of like play with it and get it twisted, turn it up. And then all you have to do now, I think, is just pull it uh, straight out and, uh, and watch the parts fall down to the bottom. Maybe not. There you go. It's coming out. And that's it. Just pull it straight out like that. And I didn't have it focused, but all it, all it did was pulled out. There's a little keyway right there on the top. And just pull it out like that. And this part is out. Let's see if we can get that other part out. This part, I think we may need to get maybe a hammer or a screwdriver to try to get it uh, wedged under. We'll see what happens. Hope my buddies at Milwaukee don't get upset me doing this with their tools. Yeah, they ain't gonna reach. I may need to get a longer one. Oh, there it's coming. There it is. Not too bad. And uh, let me make sure you guys can see. Apologize for the noise. But. There we go, this part right here. Let it focus. Right here and we just pull this it's kind of like a washer or something there we go come on baby you can get out a lot of years of rust there it is and it just comes out like that that piece is out we'll give that a good cleaning and here's what the rest of it looks like let me zoom back a little bit and uh it's out so and i think what happens is these pieces let me see if i can show you guys let me get this put down here and i think what happens is uh these um this cleaning kit right here in the in, in, in the in this portion the heat just builds up too much and it causes them to warp and they'll warp going up like this. So I don't know if maybe I can just push it down and it'd be good for maybe a couple more uses. But heck, if if, I, if you got it out like that, you know, let's just go ahead and replace it. You know, they sell these things on Amazon. I bought mine at a through Weber's uh, website and because uh, I wanted to get, you know, an original part. There's another one that's on on Amazon and I'm gonna put a link on it but I don't think it's an original Weber item uh, I didn't look into it that deep but it looked like it was just uh, I don't know what you call it I hate to call it a counterfeit but it, it, it's probably what it was but if a counterfeit part works or I guess in the automobile industry they they, they call them a OEM original manufacturers piece of equipment or something like that but uh, the one in Amazon didn't look like it was uh, from the manufacturer. It looked like somebody else is making them. But, but I ordered mine from the Weber website. And I'm going to put a link to their website right here. So you guys can check them out if you ever need yours to replace. It doesn't look like it's that big of a deal. You know, it took, it took me longer to set up the cameras, you know, and stuff like that. But, you know, it's a nice little video I think I wanted to share with my viewers. So let's get this thing cleaned up some more and we'll put the put the new one in there well here's about what she looks like i went ahead and took this bottom part off of the of the pit made it a little bit easier to work with and got this thing uh clean this is where that uh one step cleaning kit uh fits into and uh got it as clean as possible the inside of it let's take a look at the inside look at that i mean that is them SOS pad, they work pretty good uh, with that simple green stuff. Uh, this may be turning into a uh, SOS simple green video instead of uh, how to change out that part. Or maybe just a little bit of both, you know, maybe maybe turn it into like a maintenance type video on your Weber Performer, your Weber Grill, you know. But you definitely, 
Uh, these things are not cheap. I think I paid, I'm not sure, about 400 something dollars for this one. So it's a, it's a, it's a somewhat of an investment. And we got some guy over there cleaning, passing the blower or weed eater or something, but always happens when you're trying to shoot a video. So I'm gonna get this dried up on the inside and see if we can put the, that assembly back together and close it up and see what she looks like. So just getting it nice and dry. We'll get it flipped back over. Yeah, this should be good for, it should be good for a little while at least now. So here's what the box looks like. It comes in a box like this that says a uh, Weber on it and it's called the One Touch Cleaning System Kit. Uh, and it's for the 22 inch One Touch Charcoal Grills, which, you know, that's what I got. I got a charcoal grill and it comes with instructions and the instructions are pretty straightforward you know they kind of draw them i don't want to say cartoon like but they're pictures so you just follow the directions based on the pictures and you can't mess this up at least i hope i don't mess it up so here's the parts that come with it uh, you got three blades you got the handle and then you got the mechanism that holds it all together so uh this is the part that goes in through the bottom and i don't know if you guys can see that it's got like a little keyway well when you when you when you slide it in you notice right there there's also like a little keyway you know you just you know, so it's got that little keyway right there and you just pop it in and it should just twist like that when you got it all put together and that's all the, that's all that holds it together just just that little keyway thing so here's what they look like and I don't I don't think that there's a, an order to put them in. I don't think you can mess this up. But let me just look at this first set of instructions where the first one goes in and it tells you to start with the number 1 which they're numbered as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got a 1 a 2 and a and a, and a three so we'll take we'll start off with the number one looks like it goes down like that so just pop in the first one right there and i'm assuming that that little hole there probably means something uh you know to line it up so well, I'm going backwards. See, I'm already messing up. There it is. That looks like how, how it goes. There's one. There's two. Yep. And three. Oh, look at this. Uh, the third one has got a little, I guess a little latch right there to help from getting it backed out so we'll put that bad boy right there there it is and it kind of oh yeah kind of holds it nice and firm so it's all right this is going to be the tricky part you want to make sure that the keyway is towards the front of uh of your your charcoal grill because if you if you have it flipped the wrong going the wrong way then um uh, you know, the handle be on the back side of the grill. So you wanna make sure it's facing the front and see if I can get this without dropping it. There's that part, there's that. And here goes the keyway. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, yeah, that was pretty simple. And then, uh, now that it's in, I can play with it some and try to get it centered. All right, cool. And it's, it is facing the front, so, oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, it works in there. There we go. Uh, and I got it towards the front. Lock these hinges in there. All right, so all that's left to do is give this thing a little twist and 
lock it in place. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah. Let you guys see it on the inside. There it is. That's that to work. So let me get it put back in. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty easy. So we'll just set this uh, grill back in here and put the screws and uh, we're done. Let me get you guys a better view. And uh, those are the new new blades that are put in. It's the Weber One Touch Cleaning System Kit. Uh, and like I said, I've had mine for about uh, about three years. So they've, they've lasted me a, a, a long time. But they do wear out one of the parts that are easily interchangeable. That's the nice thing about Weber is uh, they make all of their stuff kind of, I don't know what to call it, universal fitting. So you can fit, uh, this will fit several of their Weber models. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, had to get it done, had to clean my grill. It's done, I'm gonna put the screws back into it, finish cleaning the lid, and uh, maybe we'll grill us some hot dogs or some, some, uh, some sausage broths or something, you know, tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Well, that's it, guys. Simple as that. Got, got that uh, one-touch cleaning system kit, you know, clean, you know, changed out. Let me show you the old one. You know, here's what the old one looks like. And it kind of looks like, like a little karate star, like a, maybe a boomerang. Hey, I'm not gonna throw it, but uh, I'm gonna throw it away in the trash. But that's what happens. Them things get too much heat, they get warped. They lift up on you and then you got no control over the temps, you know, inside your your, your 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 pit so got it changed out the weber one touch cleaning system kit so if you're interested in one i'm gonna put a description down below for it i'm gonna put both of them i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put the one that's on amazon that counterfeit one and then i'm gonna put a link to well i don't want to i hate to call it counterfeit because i'm not sure but it's not made by weber it's made by some other company but i'm gonna put it down there and i'm gonna put this one down there as well uh, that way you guys can check them out if you need to replace them. It, it, it didn't take long for me to get this. It, um, I ordered it on a Friday late afternoon and Monday morning it shipped out and what's today? Friday and I got it Thursday. So it, 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 it didn't take long to get, you know, just a couple of days from, you know, from wherever it ships from. But, uh, here's the new one. Got it in there works nice nice and snug i'll be able to control my temps better now and put my charcoal grate back in put my grill grate back in now i did clean it as best i could and uh i used the uh, that simple green degreaser and them sos pads and and the between the two of them, you know, they work pretty good. I couldn't get a lot of this deep pitted, uh, you know, uh, rust that's on there, or it's maybe the porcelain or something has, has fallen off of it, but it's still good. I get a few more uses out of this uh, charcoal grill grate uh, or this grill grate on top. Worst case scenario, you know, just get you a new one. You know, they sell them at the local Ace Hardware. I've seen them at Home Depot. You know, the important part, which is the pit down at the bottom, you know, that's got to last you forever. Everything else can be pretty much uh, uh, changed out. But besides that, guys, we are done with this video. And uh, do me a favor. Right there in the corner, there's a little subscribe button. You know, uh, click that click that button and smash that bell. That way you get future notifications of upcoming videos. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Uh, I want to thank my viewers and my subscribers. Go out to my website, check out my barbecue products. If you're interested in them, you know, you can buy some and they'll get shipped right to you. I appreciate you guys very much for helping the channel out. 
and uh, i love y'all and i will see you guys on the next cookout you guys take care